This is Itlali from the Mexica Movement, and today I will share with you on our campaign against the American Latino Museum that is in the works, in the plans for, it's going to be a, na a national museum in Washington that's supposed to represent the so-called Latinos. We in the Mexica Movement refuse, reject these terms, and we reject the idea behind the whole museum. How do we know about this? Well, we've been studying the report, and it's here, okay? It says the final report to the president and the Congress. This is the foundation, this is the mission behind this museum. When you're reading the plan, it completely negates our history as indigenous people. We Mexicans, Central Americans, South Americans, Native Americans are indigenous people known as Mexican, Central American, South American, Native American. We are using the terms that we have been colonized with, that we recognize as Latino Hispanic. We in the Mexican movement have been boycotting those terms. We have been deconstructing the colonial ideology behind the identity of Hispanic and Latino uh, for over, since actually since 1993. So what we're trying to say is that we're not products of Europe. We are not the colonial products of Europe. We are an indigenous people, whether we be mixed blood or full blood. The colonial domination of terminology is the power of definition of which is held by the European occupying forces that haven't left since 1492. This museum is going to be a national museum. It's going to be funded through our tax dollars and it completely ignores us. It ignores the indigenous culture. It ignores the indigenous pain, the genocide of 95% of our population. The fact that 70 to 100 million of us are no longer alive because of the last 500 years of terrorism. And just to kind of give you an idea of what is the mission behind this museum, I will read you an excerpt. This is by Dana Clare, where she writes, We are approaching almost 500 years of unbroken history. It is very important when you are telling the story of a people, however lengthy the story is, that you start at the beginning. There are significant parts of American history that have been left out because of how it has been written over the years. It is imperative that the story of America include the rich history of Hispanics, beginning with Juan Ponce de Leon's landing in La Florida in 1513 and the founding of St. Augustine, the nation's oldest continuously occupied European settlement in 1565 by Don Pedro Menendez de Aviles. Indeed, this was first America. The Hispanic peoples have played a principal role in the cultural and historical development of our nation and the founding of our nation. Symbolically, this is a very powerful story to tell and a statement to make. So basically, it goes to say that the last 500 years, Hispanics and it goes straight to Juan Ponce de Leon, the invader, that that's what initiates our culture. Who is she speaking on behalf of? Who is she representing? Is she representing the indigenous Guatemalan? Is she representing the indigenous Venezuelan, the indigenous Col Colombian? Is she representing the indigenous Mayan? No, she's not. She's representing white European culture. The Europeans who happen to speak Spanish on this continent for the last 500 years. So basically, this is the Spanish-speaking Europeans making the, their distinction among the English-speaking Europeans. We as Mexican Central Americans have nothing to do with that claim. Now, let me give you a little bit of statistics. Statistically, culturally, we have no connection to Latinos. The Latin term is created as a systematic, capitalistic, imperialistic concept to unite all so-called Spanish-speaking people of the U.S. For what purpose? To not spend that much money on various target groups, to keep the criollo uh, in control, who control Spanish-speaking media, and to keep us, the indigenous people, at the, at the bottom barrel of that? Of course it is. In the year 2010, we made up, out of the so-called Hispanic or Latinos, Mexicans made up 63%. Central Americans made up 7.9%.
and South American made up 5.5%. Going through those numbers, you could see that we easily make up more than about 80% of the so-called Hispanic and Latinos in the U.S. Why do we, more than 80% of indigenous people, falsely known as Mexican, Central American, Native American, South American, why do we have to denounce our identity and our culture to convenience the, the true original Latinos, the Criollos, the Europeans, the Spanish-speaking Europeans? We in the Mexica movement are calling for a boycott. We have emailed, we have sent letters, we have sent posters to the commissioners of this museum. We have been ignored. Our community has been ignored, just like our history is being ignored. We are an indigenous people. This museum does not represent us. It is representing the Spanish-speaking European experience on this continent for the last 500 years. We are not Spaniards. We are not Europeans. We are indigenous people. We are Nicantlaca. We demand to be respected. We demand that our tax dollars be used for true representation and accurate culture and, and the actual truth in the history being portrayed in this museum. This museum, if it does not reflect the truth of what has happened, it is nothing more than a white supremacist foundation to keep reinforcing the white supremacist establishment and the ideology of white supremacy in Spanish-speaking European culture. We in the Mexica movement refuse to acknowledge this museum and of all of its existence, and we are calling for people to boycott this museum, tell people that you are against this museum because it's a total, complete disrespect to those of us who are indigenous, Mexican, Central American, South American, we are the Nicantlaca people. We are the indigenous people who have been occupied for five centuries by these Europeans, whether they speak English or Spanish. They are not us and we are not them. We have an ancient culture, an ancient identity that is not being respected, that is not being observed and is not being uh, embraced at all by this project. This is another genocidal attack against the Mexican, Central American, South American, indigenous people of this continent. We are Nicantlaca. We say no to the American Latino Museum because it is genocidal. It continues to kill off the indigenous identity and complete whitewash of what really happened here since 1492. Check out more information, more details. We will be having more videos coming up and more literature printed on the very subject, calling the American Latino Museum for what it is, another genocidal attack against our people.